what if I offer you another solution, the simple solution which you haven't seen in most standard or practically... Sa pagpasok ng COVID, ang lahat ng school at review centers ay natigil. Liban lang, of course, sa Padilla Review Center. Ang lahat ay nag-migrate sa online. Iba-ibang pakulo, iba-ibang style. Ang mga estudyante sa pagpili, lalong nalito, lalong naguluhan. Pero para bigyan kayo ng mas clear idea on how we do it, actual in our online review, we created this channel para nakikita nyo ano talaga ang mangyayari paano namin ginagawa sa loob ng Padilla Review Center Online. All links are found below this video. But before we begin with our discussion today, please don't forget to visit and to also like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. Nasa baba po ang link. Subscribe na rin po kayo dito sa YouTube channel namin. Huwag niyong kalilimutang i-click ang notification bell, choose all, para lagi po kayong updated and notified sa lahat ng post namin para po sa inyong lahat ng nagre-review ito at nag-aaral ng engineering. Pati po yung mga BS Math, lahat po nang nagte ng math. Pero hindi po limited sa math. Buong civil engineering specifically ang didiscuss namin kasama po yung ibang subjects sa ibang engineering. Mga common subjects like mechanics and strength. So kung may mga request po kayo na problem, ipadala lang po dito sa YouTube channel namin and then isya-shout out po namin yung kung kanino nanggaling yung problem na yon and hindi lang siya shout out isosol po namin One problem with projectile is moving or shifting from horizontal projection to vertical projection. Constant velocity and freely falling body. What if I offer you another solution, the simple solution which you haven't seen in most standard or practically all textbooks? Let us discuss this now. An object is thrown at 50 meters per second at an angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal. We're asked here to find Sx, Sy, V, and theta x after 4 seconds. So let us say this is the origin, 50 meters per second at an angle of 50 degrees, and we are asked here to find the horizontal distance traveled after 4 seconds, the vertical distance after 4 seconds, so this is Sx, this is Sy, from here to here, this is Sy, and the velocity here, it's here, so let me project it here, this is your V after 4 seconds, and this is the angle it makes with the horizontal theta x after 4 seconds, how do we solve them? This is it. I know you are familiar with the formula S is V1T plus 1 half AT squared, right? Your A is equal to the acceleration due to gravity for freely falling body. This is negative 9.81 meters per second squared, right? Right. But what if I introduce or I include here your horizontal projection and I can do that by treating S as a displacement vector and V1 also as vector okay so since we are just dealing with two-dimensional vector meaning X and Y only it is better to use mode complex you get it so this already includes SX and SY and this one includes already SX and SY portion of the equation. This one is part of the vertical, so to distinguish it, we will add here I. You get it? 
Now, if I'm going to differentiate this with respect to time, derivative of this with respect to time, that would be ds dt. But ds dt is velocity. So this is your final velocity, v final, is going to be equal to derivative of this with respect to time is v1 or v initial, but it is a vector quantity plus derivative of this is 2 over 2, 1, so that would be 80. So plus 80, don't forget the i. Okay? So, ito yung tandaan nyo lang ha. Huwag nyo kalilimutan yan. Let me call this my formula F1. Let me call this my formula F2. These are not new formulas. We just vectorize, coin word, we just vectorize the equation. You get it? Okay? So, there is I here. Why? Because this is vertical portion or vertical projection. You get it? Same thing with this. Let me now apply this in this problem. So, your S starting with formula 1, you have your S as a vector is going to be V1. What is V1? 50, angle 50. Right? So, put your calculator to mode complex. So, mode complex. So, this is going to be 50, open parenthesis, 50, angle 50 degrees, right? Multiplied by time, what is our time? 4 seconds. Plus, 1 half a t squared, 1 half a, our a is negative 9.81. Multiplied by the time, the time is 4 squared. I. So, press equals. So, your S will be equal to, let me do this in your calculator, okay? So, mode complex or mode 2, then 50 open parenthesis, 50 angle 50, close parenthesis times 4, plus 1 half or 0.5 times open parenthesis negative 9.81, Close parenthesis times 4 squared, that is 16. I. I is N in your calculator. Okay? So, press equals. So, fraction to decimal, what you'll get here will be 128.56 plus 74.73 of I. This is your SX. This is your SY. The positive sign here is an indicator that it is above the origin. As in my illustration. You get it? So you don't need to separate the computation for horizontal to vertical because shifting from horizontal to vertical normally can cause error. Okay? So, what about our velocity and theta? It's a one-step computation. So, moving to the velocity equation, the velocity after 4 seconds is going to be the velocity in terms of vector, ha? Huh? So, velocity V1 is 50 angle 50. You must be in mode complex plus a, our a is negative 9.81 times time, your time is 4 seconds. Never forget the i distinction here in order to identify that this is part of the y projection. So computing this, this would be 50 angle 50 minus 9.81 times 4 i. Okay? So, press equals. So, that would give you, so, fraction to decimal, that would give you your B4X and B4Y. And this is going to be 32.14 minus 0.94 of I. This one is V4X. This one is v 4 
Why? The negative sign here is an indicator that it is already moving down. You get it? Now, if you will check V1X and V4X, they will be the same. 32.14. You check it. 50 angle 50 equals fraction to decimal. That is 32.14 plus 38.30 as shown in your calculator. You follow? You get it? Because velocity along horizontal is not changing. It is always equal to V1X, 50 cosine 50, or that would be 32.14. You get it? You follow? But we want here B4 and theta X. So all you need to do is convert this to polar. So pressing up 1 equals. So you will have here also fraction to decimal 32 point 15 angle negative 1.67 degrees so this is your resultant v4 and this is your theta x after four seconds negative meaning it is measured from horizontal zero degree clockwise and that is negative 1.67 so it is barely passing basically barely passing the maximum height because at the maximum height the velocity is horizontal you follow so as you can see using this approach to projectile is super easy okay so as you can see super easy so i am inviting you to learn more of the super easy solutions using your calculator and using my approach by enrolling in our different programs calculator tricks and techniques if you are a civil engineering student enroll in our civil engineering review in advance so that you will be increasing your chance of topping the board exam when time comes for you to take the board exam okay or if you are electrical engineering or any engineering you can enroll in our mathematics and general engineering review and eventually we will have a full review for electrical engineering and electronics engineering you follow so always remember this basta kaya ko kaya mo basta magkasama lang tayo